Well, so far, the White House has been resolute. It has once again reiterated its full support for Israel. That's something that the White House has been doing since this conflict broke out uh, weeks ago now. We've had no official reaction to Netanyahu's press conference. Um, U.S. officials at the moment remaining tight-lipped, not wanting to comment on Israel's uh, military operations. Uh, they really are more uh, aware of the hostage situation and worried that any wide-scale incursion into Gaza could uh, ruin the chances of, of getting these hostages out successfully. Um, that is something that the Israeli defense minister said uh, wouldn't happen. He said it would actually help the situation, uh, these incursions. Uh, that's hard to see how that would how that would be so. The U.S. is pushing for more surgical strikes. Uh, they wanted something which could maybe involve some special forces, uh, which could really uh, help maybe get hostages out, but also limit uh, the amount of um, civilian casualties that we're seeing as well. Um, the U.S., meanwhile, also... Um, says that it supports a humanitarian pause. It's shopping, stopping short of calling it a ceasefire. The U.S. has said that a ceasefire only benefits Hamas. Uh, but they are pushing for a humanitarian pause in the conflict. Uh, their main thing is obviously the aid into Gaza. The southern part of uh, the Gaza Strip is where those aid trucks from Egypt will be coming in. We know that fewer than 100 of those trucks have made it across that border in the last few days, which is much less than the hundreds per day which used to come in before this conflict erupted. The U.S. also has citizens in Gaza. About five to 600 citizens are currently uh, trapped there, and they're trying to also to get those out of that area. They're also worried about this uh, potential ground incursion, uh, this widening uh, escalation spilling over into a more regional conflict. We've seen the U.S. try to actively avoid that from happening by putting two aircraft carrier strike groups in the region. But also, uh, there have been some attacks against U.S. assets in the region, notably some missile and drone attacks on bases in eastern Syria and Iraq. So the United States saying at the moment that it's not drawing any red lines for Israel. It still gives it its full undivided support uh, and that it's there advising the Israelis, but not dictating, mainly trying to make sure uh, that the the uh, minimization of civilian casualties is their top priority, making sure that not uh, too many innocent lives are lost. Uh, but Joe Biden once again throwing... Um throwing doubt onto the numbers coming out of Gaza. A few days ago, he said he had no confidence in the numbers that the Palestinian figures uh, were, were being produced. And that was something that sparked some controversy a few days ago.